Hi everyone, this is Faya Jason from Geekar and in this video I'm going to show you how you can run entity framework migrations against the application DB context that is in a separate assembly. By separate assembly I meant a separate class library actually. So here I have a class library called demo.data and this is the application DB context that I was talking about. Uh, it is simply inheriting the DB context class of entity framework core and here I have a basic DB set uh, which is using this model of course. So if I run a uh, migration against this demo.data class library this won't work. Let me show you why. So let's say uh, add a new migration and give it a name of initial. So as you can see, it is uh, showing me some error. Uh, it's saying no parameterless constructor was found on application DB context, either at a parameterless constructor or at a at an implementation of IDB context factory. So let's see if I can add a new constructor here that is actually parameterless and run this add migration command again. Uh, so it is not working again. So it is saying no database provider has been configured for this DB context. So I have to configure a database provider for my application DB context. It is not uh, getting the DB context that is configured here in the main project startup.cs file. So I have to implement a class called idb context factory as you already saw in the error list so what i would do is to add a new class and call it application db context factory and here i will implement the idb context factory interface and by passing the application db context uh, let me implement the interface like this so i have to return an application db context from here by providing a what's say a database provider so let's build a option like this builder option say and get it that let's say builder context db context factory builder options so uh, it's a generic uh, class so let me pass it application db context here and db context options build oh no this is should be db context options builder so db context option builder so here I have this uh, let's uh, provide a uh, database provider which is actually a SQL server so what I would do is to builder options set tell the builder option to use uh, SQL server and I have to pass the connection string for my SQL server so let's go in the startup.cs file and copy this connection string from here and uh, paste it down right here so I'm pretty much done now I have to uh, create a new instance of application DB context by passing this builder option and return it so what I would do is to return new application DB context uh, just like this and pass the builder options dot options and I'm pretty much done here uh, so let me run this migration on this demo.data again as you can see it is still not working and it is showing that could not load file or assembly system diagnostic diagnostic source so what is the actual problem turn us that I also have to pass my assembly uh, main assembly here uh, so that it can communicate uh, with my main application this demo.data sh uh, should be able to communicate with this DB context and uh, provide some migrations for this actual product so 
in this case what you do is to go to application db contest factory class and provide a options uh, where you will set the assembly so use or say migration assembly should be called demo and this is pretty much it let's see if it is working or not so as you can see it is still not working so the problem is i'm running migration against this demo dot data which is not actually the main project the main project is the demo project so let me change my default project to demo and run this migration against uh, and just like it is said it uh, could not load assembly demo ensure it is referenced by the startup uh, project demo data so maybe a quick build will resolve this issue let's see uh, it is succeeded and let's add the migrations again oh wow so the migration works uh, as you can see here is the migration file uh, it will create a new uh, table called gigs uh, so let's update our database with this migration file so i'll say update database and once it is done it will create a new database called watch did I call it let's see demo dot underscore db so let's go here let's see if it is done yeah it is done so as you can see uh, it ran all this database command against my uh, demo underscore db database so see if I can find it here so let's refresh it and here it is demo underscore db and in the tables i have a table called gigs which have two columns one is the primary key which is id and another was uh, a string property which is name so uh, that's it uh, this is how you run migrations on a application db context which is in another assembly so you don't have to put this uh, model in your main project and this application db context in your main pages uh, which is actually true for something like uh, three tiers application or n tiers applications uh, i don't know uh, you want to separate this kind of things uh, from your main projects uh, that's actually that is actually the goal of this video so uh, i think uh, now uh, you can do it on your own so uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.